guys, welcome back to my channel. If you notice that I'm wearing the same outfit, that's because I'm sitting down. Uh, it's Sunday and I'm trying to crank out a lot of videos because I've been absent from YouTube for a while. Summer's been really busy and I talked about this in my beauty empties video that I am breaking up my empties into three different videos because there are so many empties. I haven't done an empties video since April, so I literally have May, June, and July empties sitting here in front of me and it's very overwhelming. So I put out the beauty empties video probably before this one, I'm not sure, but I did film it before this one. Today we're going through bath body hair empties, aka the stuff I use in the bathroom pretty much. Um, so if you are interested in that, please stay tuned, we'll get started in a second. And then following this video we will have my home health empties, which will be things like candles, room fragrance, um, vitamins and supplements and that kind of thing. So I literally have the world's fullest bag of stuff and we're going to go through the products right now one by one. So if that interests you, please keep watching. I'm going to pull these things out by random and go through them rapid fire. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. And again, I didn't finish all these in those three months. These are things I might have been working on for a longer period of time. I just happened to finish them in May, June, or July. First up is the Giovanni Soothing Unscented Facial Cleansing Towelettes. These are amazing. I get them from Vitacost. They are very gentle. They smell like chamomile and they're pretty good at taking off your makeup. They're not gonna get off the most stubborn makeup but they'll do the trick and they're great for travel. Next up is the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Balancing Facial Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I talked about it in a prior favorites video that it's actually very similar to the 3Lab Perfect Cleansing Scrub or Perfect Cleanser that has like exfoliating beads. Um, the beads are very gentle. In that cleanser they're made of jojoba. I think in this cleanser they might be made of sea buckthorn. Um, in any case it's a very very gentle exfoliant. It's not even considered an exfoliant, it's considered a cleanser, but you can use it twice daily. Um, it's gentle enough for that. So I really did enjoy this and I will absolutely buy it again. A trick with that one is look for it at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls because it's often on clearance. Oh, I finished up this product and I absolutely loved it. I loved every single minute of it. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula Pads. I love these, they're great. They're an alpha hydroxy peel. Uh, two-step treatment and I love these. They really do make a difference in your skin if you're trying to diminish um, hyperpigmentation or acne scars. They will really help fade those um, pigments away and I just really really love these. They're very easy, they're user-friendly and uh, they're pricey but they do work. So I think uh, these are a great investment and a container of this is cheaper than a facial. So um, just keep that in mind if you're like thinking about microderm or facial. A product like this is cheaper and I think you'll see the same results. So Definitely love these and they're really good at unclogging pores on your nose, which is one thing I deal with a lot. Next up is a micellar water. This is the Vichy um, Calming Cleansing Micellar Solution. I got this at Target. They sell it in store and at Target.com. I love this. If you like Bioderma or any of those cleansing waters, you will love this. This one is actually super, super gentle. I think it's more gentle than Bioderma. This product's amazing. It's a little bit more pricey per unit of volume than Bioderma, but I would definitely buy it again just because it's a little bit more convenient uh, since it's on Target.com and I'm always buying stuff and replenishing stuff for the apartment. So it's really easy to drop this in my cart and then with your red card you get 5% off. So that's awesome too. Speaking of Target.com, here's another thing I stock up on regularly. This is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution with milk and honey. So this is a great bath salt to put in your bath for your relaxation time. It smells amazing. I love pairing this with like an almond body wash or like a milk and honey kind of bubble bath. It just smells so sweet. It's so good and it's really nourishing for your skin. And I just love it. So I go through these about once a month or once every two months. Um, I don't take baths every week. Um, it's just kind of whenever I have the time. So I love this stuff and it smells amazing. I'm trying to remember what this was exactly. This is the Lush, um, I think it was a bubble bar or bubble rune. It was the Yuzu, it's the orange one. I honestly thought it was okay. I crumpled it under the bath water manually with my hands and I feel like it still didn't give me that many bubbles. So I think that the Lush bath bombs or bubble bars are nice, but I think that I still prefer liquid bubble bath or body wash when it comes to making bubbles because I feel like it's cheaper and your bubbles go longer. So I liked it, but I don't love it. So I probably wouldn't buy that again. They're great for gifts though. 
Next up is a body wash. This is the Dr. Bronner's um, Magic Soap, the Castile Soap. This is in the peppermint scent. I love this stuff. It is super, super highly concentrated stuff. A little bit goes a long way. You pop it on your loofah and you'll get really, really rich, luxurious bubbles. And uh, it's all natural, so there's nothing bad to say about this product. It comes in so many different scents. I definitely think you should check it out. Uh, you can find this at Target. You can find it at a lot of drugstores now, uh, natural grocery stores like Whole Foods and whatnot. And then you can also sometimes find it at Costco. So keep your eyes peeled. This stuff is really good, and I definitely think um, everybody should try it. It's really amazing. Speaking of pampering and bath time, this is the 3 Lab Perfect Mask. It is a sheet mask. This is the best sheet mask I've ever, ever tried. I mean, it's really top-notch stuff. A pack of five of these is really, really pricey, but you can get it at Barney's. I don't think they sell these individually at the moment. Some 3 Lab counters at Barney's actually have a facial room. So in San Francisco, you can actually get a facial and get this um, put on your skin and it's actually amazing but if you um, want to do it at home I definitely recommend buying this it's amazing it really does tighten brighten and just re revive your skin I mean you really definitely notice a difference um, the morning after you wear this it smells like Sprite too so it's a really nice facial mask to put on and again I like paying a little bit more for my sheet mask because I feel like the ones that are like a dollar or a couple dollars, they never give me long lasting results, but this one does. So you definitely get what you pay for when you buy this mask. Next up is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment Plus Keratin. Love this stuff. That's my go-to detangler. I use it every time I wash my hair just to get the tangles out. It really does make a difference. Next up is a shampoo I wasn't too wild about. This is the Organics or OGX brand Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. I thought it was okay. It did lather nice. At the end of the day, I think I just prefer the L'Oreal Ever Creme and Ever Strong line from the drugstore. And then for high end, I just prefer Kerastase, Orbe, and things like that. So this one didn't knock my socks off. And to be honest, I think that it left a little buildup in my hair. It was a little bit heavy and kind of weighed my hair down. So gonna pass on this but if you have drier hair than I do you might like this so speaking of Kerastase here is a shampoo I did love this is the Ben Nutrithermique shampoo for intensive nutrition uh, for very dry and sensitized hair so this is kind of like if you have really damaged hair, this is a good shampoo for you. But if you have normal hair, it's also a nice shampoo. Um, it lathers amazing. It smells really good. I gotta say, though, I think I prefer the scent of the green Kerastase products. Um, whatever line that is, I think that's like the really, really heavy-duty reconstructor stuff. That one smells much more fruity, and this one smells much more like masculine, cologne, day spa kind of scent, but the other one's more fruity. So I do like this. Um, it's pricey, but you can get it at Nordstrom Rack, so you can use those Nordstrom notes there, which is usually what I do, um, but you can also find this online and at, obviously, professional salons that carry care stuff. So, love this product. I definitely would get it again. Next up is a body scrub. This is the Deep Steep Warm Vanilla Coconut Argan Oil Body Scrub. I got this at Marshalls for $5.99. It was a good deal. But I don't think this is like a life-changing product for me. I thought this was a really nice exfoliant. It is not tested on animals. It's cruelty-free. And it smells really good. And it's all natural. So I like that. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's um, a holy grail item for me. So I would definitely get it when it's on sale. But I don't think you need to run out and get it. But it smells really good, though. Next up is my Humphreys Witch Hazel Toner. Love this stuff. I get it on Vitacost where it is really, really cheap. I think um, it's probably at least two or three or four dollars cheaper than what I can get it in store for our local. Next up is a self tan. This is by Beauty Soul. It is the medium tan. This is a streak free and paraben free formula. It has actually really a neutral scent. It doesn't smell like DHA. You don't smell like a tanning freak. So if your roommate or your spouse makes a comment about that, you don't have to worry about it with this product. Um, and it actually gives you a deep, darker, more olive type tan than the classic Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. So, and I, I know that for a fact because when this was running out, I had enough for one leg and then I had to go into my Saint Tropez and do the other leg. And noticeably, you could see um, the color guard in this when you immediately apply it is definitely more olive tone. It's green when it comes out and Saint Tropez is more of a classic bronze, but the tan is definitely a little bit darker. So with this, um, it's darker than Saint Tropez. It's also um, unscented, so it doesn't smell like that. 
I feel like it doesn't last as long as Sandro Pay though, so that's probably something to do with this being more natural. Um, I don't know, but I definitely like this product, and the mitt it comes with is actually pretty nice. Um, this one has been used for many, many months, so it, it's time for this to go, but I absolutely recommend this stuff if you are looking for a new tanner. This one is an amazing one, and it's natural, it's a local brand, and it is cruelty-free, so I definitely love Beauty Soul. Next up is the Jergens BB Protect. Um, Perfecting body cream with sunscreen. So I talked about this in my favorites. This is a SPF 15 body lotion So this product is special because it has a BB property to it It's kind of like light reflecting perfecting kind of smooths everything out and it also provides a little bit of SPF So that's nice because usually during the day I forget to put SPF on my legs if I'm going outside I'll never forget on the face and kind of like the shoulders, but sometimes you just don't bother with sunscreen all the way down your legs if you're just like going out for a little bit. So this is great. I talked about this in the favorites. I do like this product. I wish it was paraben free just because you're putting it on so much of your body that um, having less chemicals in it makes me feel a lot more comfortable. But you know, parabens aren't the first ingredient so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I would definitely recommend this product. It's easy to find, it's accessible, and it's something really different because I haven't seen a lot of um, body brands come out with a product like this. So. so yeah, I did get this from Influencer. It was a really awesome product to try. Next up is a bubble bath. This is the Dead Sea Essentials by Ahava. This is the Nourishing Milk and Honey Enriching Spa Bubble Bath and Shower Gel. I believe I got this from Target.com. I got it to go with my Dr. Teal's bath salts. And the scents are very compatible, obviously, because they're both milk and honey scents. Love this stuff. Um... At the end of the day, it's not like my favorite bubble bath ever. I thought it was good. I would definitely buy it again. Right now, I'm trying, I think, um, a Deep Steep brand, like almond scented one, I think. So yeah, I would definitely buy this again just because it's on Target.com. It's affordable and it is natural and paraben free. So this product is also not tested on animals, so I love that. If you watch any of my empties, you know that I go through dry shampoo like a nut. And yes, I did finish a couple of dry shampoos in this epic empties period. Uh, I did use the Batiste dry shampoo in the Sassy and Daring Wild scent. This is my favorite. It obviously has the best packaging and it actually smells the best of all the Batiste I've tried. I've tried at least four or five of the scents. So yeah, I have two full sizes and a small size for travel. Love. Oh, one more Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Sassy and Striking Mamba scent. I thought it was okay, but it doesn't hold a candle to wild. And here are some L'Oreal Ever Creme and Ever Strong products. This is the Ever Creme Intense Nourishing Conditioner and the Ever Strong Sulfate Free Thickening Shampoo. I talk about these all the time. You can reference any of my other empties. Love these. This is kind of cleansing and this is very nourishing. Um, I just love these. I go through them all the time. So there are certain products I have in every single empties video. And three months went by, so I went through three cans of the Up and Up Nourishing uh, Smoothing Shave Gel with Soy. So I love this stuff. Um, they recently repackaged it. I think it's like blue and beige with white. Um, so keep an eye out for it. I love it. It's the best shave gel. Here we go. Cult classic right here. This is the Bioderma Sensibio Kralin Solution. I love this stuff. I used to buy this before it was available in America. I definitely recommend trying this if you've never tried it before. It will change your life. Just micellar waters in general, not necessarily this one, but all of them are amazing. And they're just kind of like a better way at taking off your eye makeup. Um, unless you're wearing like waterproof stuff in which you probably need oil, but these are very gentle um, on the skin and they don't irritate your skin and they don't dry you out. I've definitely been guilty on a couple different Europe trips to take back like half a suitcase full of this stuff. You can get 100% authentic um, Bioderma through Beautylish now, so I definitely recommend checking out their website. I'll have it linked below. Really love this stuff. You need to try it if you've never tried it before. I have four Lush products right here. One is the Cosmetic Lad. I bought this for my boyfriend um, well over a year ago. It's already expired. This is the facial moisturizer. I think it's unisex. It smells really good, but it's definitely long gone expired, so I'm going to empty this out and put it in my Lush recycling pile. So I, I don't really have a lot to say about that. I did sample it in store and I liked it, and I got it for him as a gift, but unfortunately it fell to the back of the cabinet. Um, I'm, not, I'm not mad about it. I get to use it towards my free face mask, so that's fine. So next up are three fresh face masks from Lush. This is the Cupcake face mask, and these are the Cosmetic Warrior face masks. So I like Cupcake, it was alright, it's the chocolate one, it kind of smells like sandalwood, um, kind of has like a sweet heavenly scent to it, and it's geared towards oily skin. 
And then the Cosmetic Warrior is definitely um, an acquired kind of scent. This is the one that is like made with kaolin clay, tea tree, and garlic, and it's kind of like just chunky when you put it on. And I actually find this one really, really nice for detoxifying the skin and getting in uh, those blackheads and pimples and kind of just soothing everything, but at the same time kind of um, extracting, detoxifying, I don't know what you want to say, like clearing out grease and oil stuck in your pores. So I'd say that this is my favorite fresh face mask I've tried so far. So I'm going to turn these in with a couple other Lush empties I have and get my free fresh face mask, but I'm definitely going to get another uh, container of the Cosmetic Warrior. So I really like that. I'm pretty much hooked on those fresh face masks now, so I definitely want to try more, but so far Cosmetic Warrior is my number one. Here is the Secret Outlast deodorant. It's the unscented variety. I finish one of these in every one of my empties videos. Right now I'm trying a couple natural deodorants, so this is like my backup in case I have like a really epic day ahead of me or if I'm going to be working out or like running around town. I think I still need to rely on this deodorant, but if I have like a lighter activity day, I go for the natural stuff. But more to come to that, I'll feature that in an upcoming video and talk about my experience with natural deodorants. Um, but my classic go-to deodorant is this one. Next up is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. This is a kind of jelly type serum. It smells very, very bright and citrusy and it's really, really nice. Um, I like that it kind of goes on wet and then it dries evenly. You're not sitting there for like five minutes waiting for your serum to soak in. Um, and I think that it does help brighten the complexion. I haven't seen specific spots start to diminish or fade, but I think overall your complexion looks brighter and more even when you use this. So definitely I have another one of these containers in my bathroom right now. Really enjoy this stuff. And then a facial sunscreen I've used up. This is the Anthelios 45 by La Roche-Posay. This is a great fluid sunscreen for the face. It's very thin in consistency. Um, it's very easy to smooth on over foundation and under makeup. It doesn't pill up too bad. I've tried some natural sunscreens with like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, um, and they kind of like pill up and obviously they're like really, really hard to blend. So this one is not a safe sunscreen. It definitely has the classic ingredients in it, but at the end of the day, this is much more user friendly because it's thin, it's that fluid consistency and it dries fast and it doesn't pill up under makeup. So I do love this stuff and I will definitely buy it again. Oh, here's a product I loved. This is the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Refreshing Hydrogel Oil Free. So this is a um, heavy duty moisturizer. It is very thick. Um, it's kind of like a gel cream, so it goes on very, very cooling and soothing, and it really does kind of just plump up and suck the moisture back into your skin. Really good for um, dry to even to combination oily skin types because um, it's nourishing, and when you wake up in the morning, you don't feel like bogged down with clogged pores or anything heavy like that. Um, it's just really nice because it is that gel cream consistency. So I would use this occasionally in the morning, but mostly as a night cream. Um, I definitely like this. I hate that it has parabens in it and it's like a hundred dollar product, but um, the product is really amazing. So it kind of goes against what I believe in skincare. Most of the skincare on my face is paraben free. I try and go as natural as possible where I can and then I also like to go cruelty free. Um, I don't know the status of animal testing with this brand, but I know they do contain parabens. So. You know, it's kind of like you win some and you lose some. I did like this product. Um, I would recommend it, but it's kind of a luxury high ticket moisturizer if you're in the market for one. So just keep that in mind, but definitely go try it at your local Sephora. This is the Kerastase Cement Thermique. This is a um, reconstructor, heat activated kind of like milk, I guess. It's kind of like a thin, thin cream. You kind of smooth it through your damp hair and it's supposed to kind of just help your brittle, damaged hair kind of mend itself before you go in with heat styling. I really like this because it's not too heavy. I feel like it does make a difference. Um, I feel like when I blow dry my hair without this, things can turn out a little more frizzy and jagged. Whereas when I use this, it's just smooth, silky, and amazing. So I do like this. It's not heavy. It is very, very pricey um, in the $35 range. You can find it at Nordstrom Rack or obviously at your Kerastase salons. Love it. If your hair is kind of damaged or you're just having a hard time keeping it looking smooth, definitely try out this product. I think you'll really like it. This was a sample of the Rose Argan Body Conditioner by Lush. I absolutely love the scent of this thing and just kind of the effect it gave on my skin. This is a in-shower body conditioner. So my routine would be to um, do my typical shower routine, shut off the water, and then kind of put this lotion all over, and then just kind of um, 
step out of the shower and just pat dry with a towel. This helps the conditioner soak into your body and you're not like rinsing it all down the drain. So it smells amazing. It smells like rose jam if you can imagine like if you've tried the rose jam body wash from Lush it smells just like this but this stuff lingers the scent lingers for so long and just, I am addicted to the scent of this so I really want to buy a full-size product of this every time I've walked in my local Lush it's been sold out so I will definitely be getting my hands on this very soon it works amazing and you don't even have to put on lotion when you get out of the shower like I always have really itchy legs um because I kind of have just sensitive skin but with that like I feel like the itching goes away because I'm adequately moisturized so I really do like that product and it doesn't leave you greasy because like sometimes I just skip moisturizing my body altogether because I don't want to put on my like skinny jeans when I have greasy like sticky legs from lotion you know what I mean so really love this product and I can't wait to get the full size here are two kind of skin treatments this is the Freeman beautiful facial peel off mask with cucumber Eh, I think it's okay. Probably wouldn't run to go repurchase it, but it's a cheap mask if you're looking for something accessible from the drugstore. Next up is the Ula Henriksen Power Peel 3-Step Skincare Treatment. So step one is a almond polish, kind of gentle exfoliant. Step two is a lemon strip, kind of acid type peel treatment. And then step three is a chamomile comfort treatment, which I think was like a moisturizing kind of like sealant to kind of like seal off the pores so I did like this I've only used it once and I have one more uh, trio to try so I'll let you know my thoughts on those but so far I really did like this um, th the only thing with this treatment is that it's kind of a long treatment like you do the first step that takes a couple minutes and then take the second step and then you have to like wait like 10 to 30 minutes and then you have to do the last step so it's like you need to have an hour to like do your skincare routine at that point so that's just the only thing so I I would save this for like a Sunday night pamper routine or something like that uh, but I think it was a good product so I would definitely uh, recommend checking this out if you are looking for a good peel um, you can find this at Sephora okay I finished up another packet of the tinkle uh, razors these are eyebrow razors but they're really for anywhere um, I use them for like shaving the peach fuzz off my jawline um, any kind of area outside my brows that like I'm too lazy to pluck um, sometimes I get a lot of peach fuzz like around my brows and my makeup can stick to it and makeup can adhere to peach fuzz and kind of make you look cakey a little bit so it's nice to like every so often kind of just like trim around you know areas where you might have hair Everybody has hair, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Having a smooth skin surface definitely helps your makeup look better, but it also makes your skincare penetrate deeper. So think of it like both ways. So I get these off Amazon if you're interested. They're very, very affordable. Next up is a sheet mask. This was by Pure Smile. It is the Aloe Essence Sheet Mask. It's supposed to have vitamin E, collagen, and hyaluronic acid for all skin types for all four seasons. This kind of goes back to my philosophy on sheet masks. Um, I'm always open to trying something new, but when push comes to shove, I just prefer spending a little bit more money on products I know that will work. And that's kind of my thoughts on this. This was a cheapie I got for like a dollar or two. And I just wasn't, I wasn't astounded by the results like I was with the three lab face mask. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of how I feel about these. I'm always willing to try them, but um, nothing holds a candle to the 3Lab Perfect Sheet Mask. These are the Up and Up Cotton Squares. They're 100% cotton and you get 160 count per bag. I like these. The, they are my go-to cotton square, but recently I found the 365 Everyday Value at Whole Foods and those are a lot better. I think those are my new favorites at Whole Foods, so I think I'll be buying more of those moving forward. Here are a couple samples from the Dior Capture Total range. This is the One Essential Serum. I love this stuff. I used to buy it all the time. It's about 100 bucks a bottle, but this serum really is amazing. It helps to suck moisture into your skin. It really does penetrate deep, and it feels amazing. So even though this is a little itty-bitty sample, this stuff um, is really potent, and it really works. So I did enjoy having a sample of that, and kind of it reminded me how much I love that product. So this is also by Dior One Essential. This is the Cellular Intense Serum. So this is a little bit different than the other one. Um, I don't know. Really good skincare. I really like Dior skincare. Here's another serum that is really, really pricey. This is the 3 Lab H Serum, the Age Defying Booster Serum. This stuff retails for like two or $300 per jar. 
It's amazing. I love it. I've had this at a 3Lab party, like, event where we did a skincare thing. I've had it during a facial. This stuff is amazing. It costs an arm and a leg, but seriously, like, there's magic in this bottle. Next up is the Heritage Store Rosewater Mist. I love this stuff for um, a makeup refresher, if I'm out and about, if I'm traveling. This stuff really is a nice pick-me-up. It's kind of aromatherapy and skincare in one. I've also used this as a facial toner. I like it. Like, I'll spritz it on a cotton pad and kind of just work it in my skin. It's not as effective as Witch Hazel, but it's very nice if you're in a pinch. So, definitely love this stuff, and I get it on Vitacost, where it's the best price around. And then last up is my go-to body scrub when I'm looking for a nice, intense scrub. This is the Hawaiian Kukui by Tree Hut. It is a sugar shea butter scrub, and it's it's the it's the right ratio of oil to scrub. You know what I mean? Like it's not too oily, but it's also not too scrubby. Um, depending on how vigorously you work it into your skin, that can determine the scrub outcome, I guess. So you can kind of go casually and just kind of get a nice scrub out of it, but you can really work it in and get a vigorous scrub out of it. So I like this. This scrub also comes in a bunch of different scents, but I can't get enough of this Hawaiian Kukui. It smells really, really good. All right, you guys, so that's about it for my epic bath, body, and hair empties. So much stuff. Thank you so much if you watch to the end. Um, I'm going to do my home and health empties next. There's so much good stuff coming up in that video, so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you very soon in my next video.